Hey guys, my name is Nelson Fernandez, the lead of the SIU Green Roof Revitalization and Modernization Project. And here we have an introduction to our workshops. Our design thinking workshops are designed for finding solutions to our project's current problems. Here, we'll begin with an introduction to the project, the background about SIU's green roof. Then we'll move into the first stage of the design thinking methodology, Empathize, where we look at what is the problem. Then we'll move into define why it is important, and then move into ideate, how do we solve it? This video is meant to illustrate the beginning of the design thinking workshops, specifically the background, empathize, and define stage. Then, during our live workshops, we can focus mainly on the ideation and the prototyping phrases to help build a better collaborative setting. So, what is the green roof? Well, the green roof is green technology designated for sturdy blacktop roofs. The green roof at SIU was created back in 2010. It was funded by the student green fee, which is a fee that goes into a fund that every student contribute to through their tuition. This grant program enables students to submit proposals as well as faculty for research and other unique areas focused on sustainability. The Green Roof was funded as a research facility and it took over 150 volunteers and one week of labor to complete the installation. On top of the College of Agriculture, the Green Roof resides with five unique plots, each one containing a different style structure of soil medium. Among this space, there is 4,500 square feet of soil, or one-tenth of an acre of space. This tool is meant for students and faculty to conduct innovative research. Currently, only 1% of the soil is being used by research. This here is a focus of innovation and potentially cross-disciplinary space. Taking a look at our current problems, we see that there are inefficient watering systems which require intense human labor. Being in Southern Illinois, the climate is much hotter and humid compared to ideal conditions for a green roof. For example, Germany, one of the leading frontiers of green roofs, has a much colder and easier climate for green roofs to thrive. As a result, we are installing through modernization projects an autonomous irrigation system, where the irrigation system is learning the conditions of the roof and divvying out water based on those conditions. We also found that a data collection device, which was previously paid service, has been discontinued for a few years. As a result, we are using a Raspberry Pi to collect data and post it onto a website for researchers to use publicly. We also found that due to the roof's location on top of it, College of Agriculture, we find that there is an agriculture only stigma. And to break this barrier and create a cross disciplinary space, we are installing a wind turbine to encourage engineering students to use the space for their research. And this past semester, spring 2020, two students, both electrical engineering technology students, planned on using the roof to align and calibrate their solar panel with a sun tracking path detecting sensor to have the panel adjust this angle based on the sun's location. Other problems we currently face are underutilization, the lack of 
knowledge about the green group and having students not know about ways of getting involved. The stigma of it's an agriculture only space, having animals go up and eat the vegetation or the research, as well as no true ownership of the space. In summary, a few of the big problems facing the green roof is the fact that there is no true ownership over the space and dedicated marketing towards finding ways of incorporating student organizations, clubs, and research on the space. Our goal of the post project is to revitalize and modernize the roof and have students and faculty more aware about the opportunities the campus has to offer, such as the green roof. Taking a look at the design thinking methodology, we look at empathize. What is the problem and defining the challenge and explore human context in terms of educational and outreach opportunities. Our workshop is focused on finding educational and outreach opportunities. A few of the problems identified in past workshops are ownership of the space, lack of recognition, making connections to create a multidisciplinary culture, communication, influence, marketing, involving people for shaping the future, known resources, a public interface for scheduling, data management, troubleshooting a Raspberry Pi, safety concerns such as Corona-19, as well as benefits for the non-academic community. The next stage of the design thinking methodology is define. Why is it important? We must research, observe, understand, and create a point of view to understand different perspectives. The golden circle method of why, what, and who is involved is an excellent way of going about this stage. A few examples are involving engineers such as solar PV research, wind turbine research, hydroelectric, connecting different disciplines to the space, involving high school students to take advantage as well as middle and junior high, hands-on experience for anyone in the field of sustainability, renewable energy, engineering, agriculture, to have the space to experiment on during their undergraduate and graduate years. A resume builder of being able to work in a green technology resource that many universities cannot offer. The progression of innovation the idea of continuous improvement and always moving forward. Having volunteer events to reinforce ideas of sustainability, the way the green roof and other rooftops affect local ecology, such as the urban key island effect. Unifying community, bringing a group of students, faculty, and those who are interested together. Carmenil has been known to be a coal mining area and having this green technology is a step forward into a more renewable and cleaner area. Incorporating diff different areas of engineering such as robotics, having speaker series, the roof is a beautiful area and having speakers up there with a nice background and audience could be potentially aesthetically pleasing. The energy efficiency side of it, financially speaking, the green roof is beneficial in many ways as it acts as a, as a insulator for the space underneath. Different research opportunities, first years gaining experience and exposure to what campus has to offer, and an overall awareness of sustainability and the effect the green roof has in the local ecology as well as socially. The next stage of the design thinking methodology is ideate. How do we solve it? Brainstorming ideas good and bad 
and just not stopping at the obvious. One unique one is having a hashtag did it on the roof. This way, every social media platform that has that unique hashtag is connected to the green roof. Finding ways of nonprofits to use the space, having a dedicated marketing team, finding ways of reaching out to different groups on campus, and finding ways they can incorporate it into their organization. Having buy-in from the university itself to continue supporting the space after 10 years of existence, finding different ways of overall having more influence and excitement about the roof in the way that the roof has many different opportunities it offers from research to educational to even engineering wise. There are so many different opportunities that the green roof has. It can even go as far as being a social hangout place for one hour a week where coffee is served and helps students and faculty connect to one another and to each other and overall be a space where collaboration can happen and majors and other barriers are broken down to connect people to people. We're excited to have you join us at the next Design Thinking Workshop. Thank you for your time and we look forward to your ideas.